also new at six tonight. Rent is due tomorrow, April 1st, and many of you are out of a job right now. And while the governor ordered to stop evictions, you still have to pay your rent. My co-anchor, Takin Jonas, is working from home. He's been looking for answers for so many of you, and this is a huge rental market here. Todd? Yeah, yes, it is. And, you know, these protections all due to the governor's emergency order protect not only tenants, people who are renting, but also homeowners as well. People cannot be, to be clear, evicted and they cannot be charged late fees if they cannot pay. But they still have to meet certain financial obligations. And today we talked to a property manager here in the Valley to help us sort through some of these issues. The options to certain tenants, for instance, would be, again, communication talk to the property manager and the landlord. Once you've had that conversation, you can work out a payment plan for after you get back to work. This is not about free rent, that they will yep. not be evicted, and also they won't have to pay late fees and penalties, but they're still going to have the obligation to have to at some point pay the rent that is owed. Correct. And even on the flip side for landlords, I'm finding when landlords are calling their banks and saying, hey, I'm, I've heard from a tenant that and it's not I'm not talking about my properties, but like I've had you know conversations with other people and they're saying that the landlords are calling saying, I know that my tenant's not going to pay rent for April. What do I do? And so the landlords are talking to their lenders, to their to their banks, and the banks are saying, well, we can go ahead and defer this. And what would you say to any sort of landlords out there who might be, you know, under their own financial pressure to then try and put pressure on on their tenants to, to force them to pay and to pay on time. Is there somebody that's going to try that? Sure. The eviction courts are closed. Um, most of the eviction companies that we utilize to put the notices on, they're not going to do it. So it, it, it's going to be very difficult for a landlord. They really just need to figure out how to make this work because it's in everybody's best interest, right? They will, the obligation for the actual rent payments doesn't go away. And that's what landlords need to understand. They, the tenant is just asking for relief at this time to be able to pay those payments in the future. What I'm finding more, um, whether it's on the, you know, real estate transaction side or even on the property management side is that people are really working together because we're all in this together. And so we're, uh, I'm finding that agents are being a little bit more understanding of what's happening. Uh, property managers are being understanding. Landlords are being understanding. All right, so here we go. For tenants who may feel harassed, threatened, or bullied to pay if you cannot, you can contact the Nevada Attorney General's office right here on their website. It's on your screen right now. You might want to write this down. It is ag.nv.gov, or you could call the hotline one 434-9989. Again, 888-434-9989. But again, to be clear, we're talking here about deferring rental payments with no late fees. But at some point when the state of emergency order is in fact lifted, those financial obligations will have to be met. But the best piece of advice we could tell people right now is that if you know you're not going to be able to meet your rent, go ahead and contact your landlord early and try and work out some kind of payment plan that's beneficial for everyone. Tricia? Yeah, that's good advice. It's also for the owner. You know, if it's right. a house you're renting for, then there's a domino effect with taxes, HOAs, all of that. So hopefully everybody across the board will work with people during this time. Yeah, and we, you know, we're talking about that today in the interview with a property manager who said that the landlords are also obviously very concerned that they too won't be able to meet their obligations you know, they can go ahead and contact their lenders and explain that I do have tenants that can't pay and they too should be given some relief. Absolutely. Todd, great to see you. Thank you. Great to see you, Trisha. Yeah.